All right, hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. And uh, today is a Cycles tutorial, part of my Cycle series on my channel. And um, what we're going to be looking at today is creating realistic environment textures. Um, this is really easy with Cycles, and with a lot of external rendering engines, you usually have this option. But I'm going to show you how to do that today in Cycles. So, if we go into Cycles right now and we go to Rendered View, you can see I have no lighting set up in this scene. I need to probably let the samples go to unlimited, so let me just move over to that here. Um, move sampling, there we go. I have a little bit of an older build of Blender, so um, this is 2.6.4, so it might be slightly outdated from what is in 2.6.5. I just haven't had the time to download it yet, but I think I'm downloading it later tonight. So that'll be fun and excitement for me. I've gotten to use it a little bit, and it's pretty cool. So, um, you can see here we just have our basic scene. So, creating realistic and lighting, and lighting and cycles. It's actually really, really easy. Um, you no longer have to take it, and um, for those of you that don't know, i uh, show you this, this is really cool, um, HDRI images. So this is going to be kind of, I guess I just thought of this, this will be an extra little um, thing, but um, oh, no, maybe not. I guess we won't look at that right now, but that's fine. So um, basically if you don't know what an HDRI image is, just look it up on Google and you'll find um, images that are really, really long and, and uh, constant in height. And what those are, are basically environments, and usually it's either that or it's a picture of a uh, sphere that has an environment reflected in it and then that texture is used to make the environment around it to create natural lighting without actually having to set up every single point light because you know if you're in a city at night there's going to be tons of light sources everywhere and it's easier to use a texture to calculate those light sources than it is to you know painstakingly go in and solve you know put each light in where it should be in the scene which is really annoying and um, HDRIs just add much more realistic, um, realistic looking lighting. So what we're going to first do though to create this realistic lighting is we're going to turn on ambient occlusion and we're actually going to set the fact down to 0.05 then uh, or maybe you know 0.1 it's somewhere in between there I find is usually good and you know still there's not really any difference in the lighting it's still really flat. The next thing we have to do is hit on surface if you haven't already hit use nodes and then under the color you go over here and where you would normally say image texture or maybe even environment texture for an HDRI, all you have to do is click sky texture and bam, all of a sudden you see a lot more, well I guess not, maybe real lighting a little bit because it's blue now and that is how the normal one looks. But I'm going to go over here in the sky texture and this is really cool. So as I move this around you'll see there's kind of you know changing colors and I want an orthographic view right now so you can't actually see what I'm doing but I will show you. But first let's just let this render out a little bit so you see the sky texture is over here and this white part where the light is shining down on the sphere is where the sun is in position to the sky. So uh, as you see here, um, the lighting's coming over here from the corner just like I've set it up here and it's coming down onto Suzanne and everything else is being lit with the blue and if we turn ambient occlusion off it doesn't, it looks a little bit darker and it just doesn't look as real but with this you kind of get a good environment lighting. So now if I go to ortho view and I you know mess around, see here, we can see that's where the sun is right now up there and over here, you know, there's no sun, so of course Suzanne's not going to be lit. So what we can do, I can also show you this, so we zoom out, and we see there's the sun right there. We can, you know, move it down here, and as it gets down, it'll start to set, and it starts to get um, orange, because that's the sunset. Oh, and then it, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good, and so there we go. And then, you know, it sets, and then we have our just dark sky with no sun in it. And then, you know, the sun's coming up. Uh, it's a little blue. I find that a little bit weird. I think it's the way the algorithm's written. It's definitely not perfect. But, um, yeah, and then you can see here we'll have our sky come right up. Let's go up. And there we go. So now it's back up. Um, it only rises and sets from this one direction. But um, I'm pretty sure with vector mapping, you can also just change um, where the sun is. Although I'm not sure. I've never tried myself because I don't mind it being over here. There is also a plugin for Cycles that allows you to uh, create realistic lighting with, um, with uh, it's a basic add-on that allows you to create realistic lighting from you know anywhere on Google Maps or whatever, whatever GPS location. But this is just an easy way to set it up. It's not 100% realistic, but it's pretty realistic. So you can see we have our sun, and you can also animate this just like anything else. So I could you know keyframe it here, go to frame 400, and you know keyframe it somewhere else. And then slowly over that period of time, it, the sun would move in, in, in accord to whatever you keyframed it to. Um, the keyframing is a little weird because it's a 3D object and it's kind of hard to keyframe and then inter interpolate. Blender has a, a bit of a hard time keyframing key it between that. 
The other thing you can also do here is change the turbidity. As you change the turbidity down, the turbidity is the amount of like uh, fog or clouds in the air. So you don't see any clouds on this, but it's basically the amount of like atmospheric fog. And so as we turn this down, you'll see it's going to get more and more and more, or turn this up, we get more and more just that harsh sun as if it was filtering through some, uh, you know, like fog or something. And then if we turn it back down, like, you know, oh, like see, like here, this is what I'm saying is that the, uh, the calculation textures are definitely not perfect. And yeah, but you see, you start to get this, and that's, you know, this is like top of Mount Everest, like everything 100% clear and stuff. So, and the uh, default setting is 2.2, which is a pretty decent lighting for most. And then also there's another thing you can do. You can turn up the strength here. But what I like to do um, is put in a sun lamp like this, um, add a lamp sun, and then move it over to approximately where your, your, your sun is so that, you know, so it's over here kind of way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I moved it about up there and I'm going to rotate it. X and you know a little bit like rotate V so that way the sun adds to the uh, natural lighting feel and I think that that gives it because it gives it better shadows and you know you can also change the color too and you can animate the color as well um, to be more accurate and this might be a little bit of a harsh example but you get the general idea here is that we're going for a more realistic lighting and we're definitely achieving that with this um, sky texture so that's about it I hope you all enjoyed and learned something from this and uh, Remember to leave a rating, uh, comment, and uh, subscribe. All right, thanks.